Yeah, Shannon, I want to give you a little bit better picture of where I am. I'm in Centerville, very close to the border of East Bethlehem Township. And as you take a look just down the tracks behind me, you can see there are still lots of police here. There are also uh, heavy equipment on scene. You can see also portions of that tanker truck as well as the train. Now, the crash that you see happened, that happened at the Maple Glen and Low Hill Road crossing. Emergency officials tell me that the driver of a tanker truck crossed the tracks in front of a southbound train. The impact was so strong that officials say the tanker spilled 4,000 gallons of hydrochloric acid on the tracks. That forced crews to evacuate nearby homes, close several roads, and call in hazmat crews to contain the hydraulic acid, hydrochloric acid. We think that most of it is laying along the railroad tracks. It's mixed in with the ballast and the culverts that parallel the tracks. Um, We've got crews out checking the outfalls to make sure it hasn't reached the river. We don't think that it has um, because a lot of the ballast has limestone in it. Uh, that's helping to neutralize some of the acid, which is mitigating part of the problem. Jeffrey Yates, the director of public safety here in Washington County, tells me that could take several days to clean up. And so this area will be closed down for that time. I want to now go ahead and show you a photo sent to us by a viewer. This photo shows someone being placed on a stretcher here at the scene. What we do know is the driver of the tanker truck was flown to a Pittsburgh hospital. The conductor and engineer on board the train were taken to the hospital as well after officials say they suffered some respiratory issues related to that hydrochloric acid. There were about 15 homes evacuated as a result of this.